over the place. And of course, he's delighted with the form of his beloved cats. Please welcome Billy Brown. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Hey. Lovely to be here too. Had a big night in Kangaroo Island, or was KI as us locals call it down there. Okay. And what about last Sunday? It was magnificent. The mighty cats just belted those Collingwood. Collingwobbles. <laughs> Collingwood just belted them, Ed. Didn't they? Ed? Oh, and I'll take it. Right it's the now. same look you had at half time. Oh. And you weren't, where were you after the game? I went to come up and say day, and you went at the 25 minute mark, straight out the door, mate. Uh, not 20 minutes, straight down into the ground, down to the rooms. Uh. What do you want to do? We'll sing the song with you or something, dude. Bad luck. Bad yeah. luck, but, mate, don't worry about it. Oh, that's right, we looked after you. Don't 50,000 in there, Don't worry about attendance. it, mate, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just worried because that seat's empty at the moment, and uh, given the fact that the cats have knocked off Collingwood last weekend, I'm tipping a. That's not the last I hear of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the biggest cat of them all, 300-game veteran superstar, team of the century, Victorian, all-Australian, Mr. John Sammy Newman. In all honesty, Ed, <laughs> Frank Costa sent a uh, letter of apology to me to give to you about sorry we beat you. A uh, couple of shocking umpiring decisions, and uh, this is in the name of equality, Ed. We had Leanne on last week with the... Uh, Calling with Guernsey on there. And Jerry. Jerry, yeah. So this is in the name of equality, Ed. So, uh, you got flies eyes, Sammy. So what have I, what have I got? <laughs> 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 I wasn't dressing to the left, I, <laughs> I was so careful outside to make sure it was in the middle. <laughs> to sneak out to the left. <laughs> hey. no, it's nice. So well, uh, uh, congratulations to the cats. Yes, it was a very good win yeah, last week. Ah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Why is it every time we've got a serious interview coming up with David Smorgan or somebody that you're always dressed like a goose? Is that just... serious? <laughs> well, it will be. We've will got be? him on in a few moments' time. Oh, Before well. we get serious, let's go to Trevor Marmalade, as always, behind the bar. No, no, absolutely sensational, mate. I mean, physically these days, you're actually falling somewhere between Jerry Halliwell and Billy Brownless, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's face it, Jerry's got the abs like a six pack, and Billy's abs are more like slabs. <laughs> <laughs> The result no, it's working beautifully there, mate. Result of... Uh, hang on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Something. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <good> <laughs> no, no, Frank, we're very sorry we actually beat you, Ed. Uh, hate to ruin your Sunday. Not as sorry as I was, but anyway. No, yeah. it was a good result for the Catters. Well done. And uh, a big day there. The biggest uh, corporate crowd, I think, for the year. And uh, second biggest AFL crowd ever. So, Billy, you money that, for Ed? the Cats. <laughs> what <laughs> was that? Because we were playing Collingwood. No, no you, you did have a lot of supporters there. Yeah. And it was a good day. It was. Good day all. All right, anyway. won? <laughs> News from the <laughs> 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 